In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Drew Holiday and how he plays defense. He is an absolute lockdown defender, and we can learn a ton from him if we want to become better defenders ourselves. So let's get down and let's check out Drew Holiday. Okay, so one thing about centers right here is, of course, they tend not to be very good ball handlers, and we can use that to our advantage. So first off, if you find yourself behind the center, try to go for that ball. That is a very easy way to get yourself a steal. And how you can do that, especially here, is that ball is being dribbled way out to the side of his body. He is not protecting it at all. And because of that, you can then pick it off from behind and get an easy steal. Go back the other way and score some baskets. If you're defending the middle of the key, or if you find yourself in the middle of the key, get your hands up. This is something that you can do very easily, because if you can keep your hands up and ready to make that steal, then at that point, you can pick off those passes, because what happens a lot of the times when it comes to players either driving baseline or driving down the side, is they're going to be looking to pass it out to the wing or the corner. And if you are in direct line of the player out on the wing or the corner, then you could be getting some easy pickoff passes just like that. Now normally if you're hedging or if you are playing help defense when you're only one pass away, it's usually a massive mistake. However, you can take a calculated risk if the player out here is a lesser threat than the player driving to the basket. You can also mitigate the risk if you can keep your hands up in the passing lanes. Again, this is very important to be able to pick off those passes. You also could be a very good person when it comes to scouting reports. So something about James Harden is when he gets that ball and he wants to take a shot when he's under pressure, is he will actually step back towards the right side. The reason for this is because he is a left-handed player and by going towards his right side, he's going to be able to take up that shot much easier and faster and because of this, we can use this to our advantage. He also, especially coming from this side knows that your momentum is taking you that way so he wants to go back away from your momentum that's going to give him an even bigger easier shot and because of that you can use that to your advantage by literally jamming that whole entire side by jamming that entire side there's not really much that he's going to be able to do and you could get that turnover that steal I also really want to point out that he goes after the tendencies of each player. He almost like if he studies what they do. So when Trey Young drives towards the basket, more times than not, he does not do a low gather when he's trying to get past players. He does a high gather. The reason is because he's a shorter player in most cases, and by having a high gather, it usually shows the referee what is going on on the court if he gets fouled. However, if you can keep your palm facing up as we see here, and you can get that steal by going after the ball because you already know where it's going to go, then you can get those steals and go back the other way, because believe me, it's a very easy steal. And then what we see here is absolutely fantastic. We can rewind this just a bit. He is forcing his player into another good defensive player, and they're going to trap him along the baseline. This is a very deadly area of the court when it comes to the defense, because then you can trap them along the baseline and try your best to push them towards that corner, and believe me, they do not want to go there. So they'll more than often try to pass that out. If you can get your hand up early and in the passing lane so that that kick out pass cannot happen, then you can get those steals as well. And this is what makes him such a deadly player. He has active hands. I really want to point out this possession as well. So here he's going up against a very good offensive player in Trey Young. And what does he do? Well, he forces that pass. Trey Young can't get that shot off. And when he forces that pass, it goes right into a turnover. Why is that? Well, let's really watch his feet. This is very important. So when he closes out on Trey Young, look at his feet. They're wider than Trey Young, which makes it harder for Trey Young to drive past him. Number two is he's able to shuffle his feet really quick, and he does a quick little hop between each one of those shuffles. That allows him to get even more distance, and by the time he lands, his leg is already far out, so that if Trey Young was going to 
take a quick snatch back or try to attack the opposite side, he's already got enough leverage on that leg to push back in the opposite direction. I've actually found that to be beneficial for myself because I'm much slower now because of my knee injuries and my knee surgeries. So by playing defense lower and having your feet wider is extremely beneficial if you want to be faster and a lockdown defender. And we can even see this in the low post when he's got a mismatch down there. Keep your feet wide. Keep also your palms up because you want to swipe upwards with the ball. The reason why you want to swipe up is if you make contact on the way up, there is a lesser likelihood that the referee is going to call you for the foul because if you swipe down, that's giving him all of this vision to see that you're about to hit the other player. But by swiping up, there's two reasons. Number one, they don't see that swipe as being aggressive, but also by swiping up, you're keeping that ball in the air longer so that you can go and get that ball when it's popped free. And of course, that's exactly what happened here. So by being a better defender, you can take a smaller risk or a larger risk, I should say, to play help defense one pass away if you keep your arms up in the passing lane. You can force your players along towards the baseline, again, keeping your hands up in the passing lane so they can't kick that pass out, but also keep your feet wide, have that leverage, small hops in between shuffles can do a ton of damage to the offensive player, and also swipe up with your steals because that is going to help you get a lot more steals without getting so many fouls. I hope this has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe. I'll see you guys again next time.